Oh God! Why didn't anybody tell me? So there I was, minding my own business, laying on a hammock for my birthday, and I go to check my mentions on Twitter, and there I see a tweet from a viewer that says, LP, you never finished the shotgun reviews for Ghost. You never did the MTS shotgun. And gosh dang it, he was right. <laughs> and most commentators who don't really play the game anymore, they'd probably say, ah, screw it, I'm not going to do it. But I've had a history of not finishing series at times, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to hop on Ghosts, I'm going to get some footage, and I'm going to do an MTS shotgun review. So here it is. And as usual, my shotgun reviews are not very technical. I just talk about the feel of the weapon, the fun factor of the weapon, the effectiveness of the weapon on my connection against the players that I'm playing against. And how I would rate this shotgun is the worst shotgun I've ever used. <laughs> It's a fun shotgun to use. The cool factor is definitely there with this shotgun since it's a revolver. The cool factor is there, but the effectiveness, I don't really like. I know there's going to be some people, LP, you're so full of crap, man. I get triple chems with this all the time. And I guess if you're playing against the right people, you can always be effective with, the, with any weapon, really. But in my opinion, this shotgun is very ineffective, and I would definitely put it last in the shotgun category for Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, I hopped on, I played some few games. This thing is fun to use, but you have, I think you start out with five shells. Even if you only fire one shot, you still have to go through the entire reload animation. The amount of times that I got two, three, even four hit markers on people inside of 15 feet, it's just insane. I got three hit markers on the guy before that, three hit markers on that guy with one shot not registering. I, I have no ammunition left to try and take out this sniper. You're going to see a lot of different kind of clips. I'll show some clips where it was effective. I'll show some clips where I failed. This There's another triple hit marker, or one not registering, and the guy just sitting in a corner. Where's my elevator music when I need it? And so you'll see a different mixture of clips. If you want this shotgun to be effective, you have to be with inside 10 or 15 gaming feet. If you want a one-hit kill, you have to be inside 10 to 15 feet. I have the muzzle brake and the grip on it. I played some games with it naked as well, and I really didn't see any kind of a difference. The only nice thing this thing has going for it is it has a very wide spread, so you don't have to be that accurate with it. But that might be the reason why the one-hit kill struggles so bad, because the spread is so wide. Maybe you're not getting enough pellets for that one-hit kill. I'm not really sure. Uh, if you're going to use this shotgun, I suggest only using it on maps like, was it Strike Zone? And this map, which I believe is Tremor. Sorry, it's been a long time <laughs> since I played this game. Again, I don't think this is a bad game. I think this game is better than Modern Warfare 3, better than Black Ops 1, but I just don't really have that much fun on it. Whatever. This isn't about the game in general, just the shotgun. I think you're going to be a lot more effective if you just use the FP6, which almost has uh, the same amount of ammo, but the, the kill power is way different on the FP6. Uh, it's nice that you can fire this thing fast, but even if you get a one-hit kill, you find yourself shooting two or three shots just because you're used to it. Uh, it definitely needs sleight of hand. I can't use it without Marathon. I, I just I feel like I need Marathon. I feel like you need Sit Rep because you're constantly running around, and this, <laughs> this game is just laced with IEDs. Uh, so, if you're going to use it, I suggest just using Specialist. Try and get as many perks as you possibly can to help you with the limited range of this weapon. And then, if you see in these clips, you're going to see that I'm constantly going left and right, changing directions, killing someone, and then turn around. Not really letting the enemy know where I'm at, even though I'm showing up on the radar with every shot. If you're going to use this shotgun, 
You have to constantly be using your cover. You have to constantly be moving around. And you have to be prepared to laugh a lot. <laughs> Just laugh, man. Just laugh. Let me know what you guys think about this shotgun. Where would you rate it against the other shotguns in Call of Duty Ghosts? I don't know if I'll ever upload another Call of Duty Ghosts video. I'm sure I will. But let me know what you guys think. I finally finished the shotgun reviews. As always, thanks for watching. Later.